we're about to watch a trailer real quick for the destiny killer and um guys it's it's looking juicy like i know we've called we've called a lot of games the destiny killer but this one may actually be it i'm going to talk about it in more detail but it's looking it's looking juice <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, this is straight up like an MRPG, huh? Chrono Odyssey. Okay, first up, is this going to be PlayStation exclusive? I know we called it the Destiny Killer, but keep in mind, not every game is the Destiny Killer, right? Obviously, this is a very different game than Destiny. We simply just call it the Destiny Killer for bait purposes. Um, and if you're on YouTube right now watching this, I'm sorry. Click With that being said, this game is definitely going to be a killer of some games. And in my opinion, this is targeting Final Fantasy. It's targeting New World, monumental games to be taking on, especially Final Fantasy, right? Final Fantasy 14, I feel like they've really locked down their community, um, but I don't know. This game looks, it looks good. Granted, everything we've seen in this gameplay here, or in this reveal here, is without actually seeing the UI. I'm actually curious to see like, what would it look like once you actually include the UI 
how many ability bars are we going to have things like that because that that can make a huge difference at least for me with that being said though the, the characters look pretty dope they all look very unique seems like there's a lot of different classes you got dual wielding axes back here you got a great sword here you got a bow user right here almost looks like a bard from final fantasy you've got this i don't i don't i guess just rocking a two-handed ass graphics on point fellas just saying ass graphics on point which is nice i mean that that honestly we should actually review more games you know based on that metric and and i i feel like this game nails it pretty good i don't really know how open world this game is going to be do we have any other information this is straight up a world boss fine right here by the way yeah this is like the equivalent of like anyone here ever actually like have y'all encountered like what was it odin in final fantasy final fantasy 14 god it would get so laggy it would get so laggy the screen wouldn't even like the frames would dip down below five and you didn't even know what you were hitting you would just spam aoe attacks over and over again in hopes that you were hitting odin and then on top of that you would just die like your character would just die you don't know how he died you're just like okay whatever spawn back up and immediately keep going I'm curious to see how this is going to perform. Something tells me it's going to be shit. Just saying. Something tells me it's going to be shit. But that's just the way things are. We saw, like, how bad performance can dip in, like, New World. Especially in, like, the PvP wars. Right? When you have, like, 50 versus 50. <sighs> Dude. Y'all remember how bad things would lag when everybody would gravity... Gra uh, use their gravity... What was it? Gravity hammers? Gravity? Gravity wells? It was gravity wells? With the axe? No, no. The things where you would actually throw that... You'd throw the axe out... And it would do the gravity suck the, the entire game would freeze anybody have any information on when this game is launching let me let me go to their website hold on chrono odyssey all right this is their website let's see let's see what they're actually like they had another trailer oh wow fail the final moment comes when you least expect it in ways that are not foreseen When nothing is right, when all is lost, the most vulnerable are stripped of all they possess. Perhaps just a misfortune and a belief that life will always deliver a fair trial. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I, I still don't 
I know this is the, what was the official trailer from two years ago. I still don't know what the f is going on. I want to narrow it down. Let's see. Where, where is this section at? Here. What does this mean? What does this mean, chat? It looks like the classes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, 12. 12, 12. 12 classes? No, it's not classes. But I mean, like, every time it showed something, it would show a new character. No, notice that. It showed a different character. So right here, it showed this, this icon, and then it immediately followed up with this character. Pretty sure it's just the final shape. Oh, oh. Dude, I, I completely understand why there's confusion, though. Looking at this, at the original trailer, I couldn't tell what the hell kind of game this is. Do they, do they have something here? Let's see. Hold on, hold on. Forge your own path. Cetera is a land full of unexplored regions with rewards and riches yet unknown. Let your courage carry you to new regions as you face formidable foes. With your new acquired control over the over space time and the alliances you form throughout your journeys, you may just yet conquer the lands you discover. There's no way through this world through this world filled with opportunity, born of the chaos of warping space time. Welcome to Cetera, the adventure is yours to be had. At first glance, Cetera may appear as a peaceful, beautiful land filled with nature. However, Cetera is also known now the front lines of a war against the Void, which has been ongoing since the beginning of time. I love that. That's my favorite. Sound, sound, sounds familiar, right? Uh, this land is filled with the dangers and chaos caused by twisted time and space and contradicting timelines. These same dangers provide countless mysteries and opportunities not afforded to any other world. Uncover the secrets behind Cedro's timeline and find a way to save everyone, including yourself. Okay. Oh, look at that. So you're going to be able to choose, I guess, I guess your race. Are you able to play as this? The Guardians, those who protect Cedro under the guidance of the Great One. The void. Oh, no, no. This just. Oh, these are not playable, right? I'm assuming these are. Oh, a po Oh, my God. It says it right here. A opposing powers. Motherfucker. I'm blind, guys. All right. So we have the guardians, those who protect Cedra under the guidance of the great ones. The void, otherworldly invaders that reject the existence of life itself. The broken, those whose bodies and minds have succumbed to void contamination. Ah, the outcasts, those who are all the more threatening for their humanity. And the world movers, those who have the strength to survive and lay roots, etc. The chrono detector, or the chrono detector, an artifact that can manipulate space time. The chrono detector is a powerful artifact said to have been created by a mysterious ancient civilization known only as the Great Ones. It holds the power to warp and manipulate space time to the holder's will. Though it has lost much of its original strength, it is still capable of twisting time and space to create effects irreplicable by even the world's most powerful magic. Okay, so it's not the Colossus? It's made by Inpixel? Chad, do we... Do y'all know anything about Inpixel? Grand Saga, a multi-platform MRPG. Hold on, this, this could be a great indicator. Okay, ma mainly I wanted to look at was just the gameplay. Um, because that's Grand Saga. That's her other game. This looks like a mobile game. All right, so obviously this is not Chrono Odyssey, but what I wanted to see right here was like, all right, what's what's their track record? They they've made that Grand Saga, Chrono Odyssey, and then I guess something called Game Changer. Do we have Chrono Odyssey gameplay? Like just game, like actual gameplay? An amazing looking MMO has just dropped another trailer and the world movers. Oh, no, no. So no, we haven't actually seen gameplay. Y'all wanna know another game that looked really, really good, but then it wasn't. He turned us against each other. Brother against brother. All right, we're not gonna watch anymore. Okay, understand a game can look very beautiful, and and feel feel terrible. Um, let me say this: there was a video we watched a long time ago for New World. There was a there was a turning point. Let's see, maybe it was Alpha. New World, New World. I wasn't that crazy about New World when I first watched it, but then we watched PvP gameplay. Let's see, out. Hold on, PvP. 1v5? Was it a 1v5? There it is. Okay. 
This was the moment that I fell in love with New World. I was like, dude, I don't know how I feel about this game. And then I see this 1v5. This guy just starts fucking, dude. Yeah, baby. Got all these people attacking him right now. No problem. What got him running them down? Some of you may like be thinking, oh, this doesn't look that exciting. Good shit, dude. It's good shit. This is spice. This guy is oh, like, these guys are over leveled. Oh, my lord. Doing so much damage. Oh, my God. That bow is doing so much damage. Anyways, point, point is, point is. That was the moment I was like, okay, wait a minute. We've got to check this out. You know, this game is looking spicier than I anticipated. Here's the thing. I have no idea if, if Chrono Odyssey is going to be amazing or not. I, I want to believe. I want to believe. It is a beautiful looking game. But I've seen so many games show up that look beautiful. And they literally have no substance. And until we actually see real gameplay. And I know they're like, this is the gameplay reveal. No, until we actually see real gameplay. Someone actively playing the game, we cannot make a judgment on it. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.